what's up welcome back hey so uh, i was doing a print job here we just got done doing bag tags getting ready to make a uh, custom uh towel uh with some pictures of old pictures of somebody that we're going to uh have the, the cuddle up with and all that type of stuff uh so i was printing out the images and my printer ran out of ink so i have the epson 7720 i'm sure there's plenty of uh videos out there about this but this is the way that i do it and uh, my ink that i use uh, um, honestly speaking these bottles look like that because i accidentally put them on the side and uh, they poured all over the place not sure if i didn't have them tight enough or laying on the side just was not uh, what we needed to do so i always put on rubber gloves especially when working with sublimation get on your fingers get it on the project that you're working on, that's what's gonna to happen to the sublimation ink. It's gonna sublimate into what you're working on. So I have not pulled it out of the machine yet. Uh, I have not pulled out of the machine yet. So I will videotape me pulling out the machine. All right, so I'll take my phone, got my phone going. I have my phone over there, show you how to take them out, all that good stuff. Not that big, not that hard, uh, but we'll go from there. So I didn't realize I didn't have my mic on. So I'm going to do a little voiceover here. Uh, yeah, so I'm just open this up here. Let that thing do uh, its little maneuver. It's going to go to the one side and come back. As you can see, the paper it stopped printing right there. So I had to throw that paper away. Uh, but sorry about the quality of the video too. Uh, but yeah, it's going to go over there. And then it's going to come on back over to the side here. Uh, and then I'm going to pull that little switch there. Pop that straight out. And we'll put it on the table here. And then we'll just grab all of them and pull them out. Like I said, this is why I, I wear gloves too, so I don't get that sublimation and cut over it. So, yeah. There we go. Now I'm going to put the camera down and uh, show you what I got. There you go. So there's the ink. I got my towels. I got towels. I usually fold these in half like this. And there's four inks, so you definitely need four. And this is to uh, squirt out the extra... Um, extra ink that will be in there and this is for cleanup if I need it for cleanup all right so we got that we'll put that up there put that there I will move these out of the way we'll start with um, start with the yellow so there's uh, as you can tell inside there that one's pretty empty uh, no big deal and uh, so this is the vent this is the fill so make sure you take out the right one. So you said that's the fill. I'll set that up against there. I'll unscrew this. There's that over here. Um, and then my needles, my fill sticks things here. Um, I should color code them, uh, but I just look at the colors that are in there. Uh, so that's yellow. I can tell that's yellow. Uh, this just goes on the end here. Um, and I know this is the big, I probably shouldn't need the big one of these ones, but so leave it off to the side and uh, we'll do about 15 milliliters. We'll start with that. I like to say, make sure you put it in the right hole. This is the fill, the back one's the vent. Uh, so that goes inside there and uh, I'll turn on the side so you can see. So let it slowly go in there. And keep going. Right there, so it starts to come out. Good to go. So here's where I keep my extra uh, towels from. So I got that through here. And then I'll, I'll go up and down a few times. Get that in there. So I take this over to my towel. And I'll try to clean it out. Right. And I'll give it a little bit of white down. A little bit of white down. Wipe off that tip there a little bit. There's that. Get that off. That one's done. Open up that. Oop. So since I can, I'll use this to dry off all the extra stuff on there. There's that. Like I said, make sure it goes into the fill and not the, the other one. So I'll set this off to the side. Put the lid on 
I tighten the lid down super tight. I don't lean them over anymore, so I'm usually pretty good at that now. So uh, now we'll go to the magenta. See, I got two different ones. I'm not a fan of these small ones uh, for these bottles. You can't really get to the bottom, so I use these longer ones. Same thing. Take this off, off the side. We'll get my honestly speaking. So there's two caps. If you wanted to fill it into uh, an eco tank, you can use that. But fill off the bottom down there. Good to go. So we'll see how much we need in this one. I always fill up all of them. So it's a good, good idea. So there's all of them. Well, that's how much I need. So I probably only need like 10 milliliters of this one. And this one's a little smaller. So this one's going to look like I took more out of it. So that's why I like these long ones. Fill her on up. There it is. I always make a mess. Oh, I didn't get my uh, extra towel over here. Extra towel. Over here. And Oh, I usually squirt into the bottle so I don't have that extra stuff going all over the place. All right, so we're going to use another. We'll clean this up and then we'll grab another towel because. It does seem like there's some extra stuff inside of it. As you can see, maybe. There's some, maybe this will help take some of this out. Yeah, see that? Don't want that stuff to clog up inside there. So there's that. Oh, I almost threw that away. So we'll wipe this little extra off that I got. There. And then make sure you plug this back up. Make sure you plug up the fill, not the drain. Or the not to drain, but make sure you do that and not the vent. Tighten this up really good. I'm gonna turn the light on, see if the light helps a little bit. Light might work a little bit. And then these, I just take these and another reason why I like the, the longer ones, because they fit in there pretty good. So that one's done. Oh, I didn't even put this one in here yet. So all right, so let me get this other towel here, put the towel down. This is my blue, as I can I can tell this is my blue. I'll put this on with a blue, which is not blue, it's cyan, right? Let me get my cyan color out. And uh, this one's pretty full, so I probably don't have to tip it over. I didn't look and see how much I needed though. You wanna go slow, you don't wanna have these bubbles in here like I just did. So I'm gonna push this back in there. Let me see how much I need. Oh, this one is the one that said I was out. So my machine said I was out, but I'm really not. But it's good practice to fill it up when it says it's out. This one's pretty far out. So we'll do 10, 10 milliliters and see if what that takes. Oh, wrong side. I'm trying to show what I'm filling. Ooh. I'm going too fast. All right, we're going to take a second here. Try to settle this down a little bit for me because I'm not sure exactly. It's not full. It's pretty close to being full, but it's definitely not full. Just give me a second. Let me clean this off a little bit and try to figure this out. Yeah, we can take a tiny bit more. Probably because there were so many bubbles that I had going on in there. And I'm trying to videotape it. All right. Full enough. Okay, so squeeze this out. Okay. Back on the towel. 
Let me move it around so I can see it. Okay, that looks pretty good. Turn that off. Came out pretty good. That. Let's see. We'll put this back inside here for next time. Tighten the lid up. I gotta clean that outside part. that now we're gonna go to black black takes a lot this is an extra large that's why those bigger ones are good for the extra largest and I don't have a long uh, thing here either so and make sure we get down there pretty far. I'm not sure how much I need in this one either. Oh, I guess I should show it down here. This one's always been a wait till it overflows type of thing. Because I can't see anything. Definitely need to get a longer one for the black. Oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. Boom. Came right out. I just had to, just had to think I had to fill up. Move this back over here. I splattered blue all over the place over here. It was on this towel. All right, do the black, wipe this off a little bit. There you go. That, this goes back on the inside. Close that up. Tighten her up. Put the lid back on here. So you would think you're done. You're not done. Chip resetter. You can also, you should be able to get these from her. You should be able to, from uh, honestly speaking, right there. Okay. There's a chip on here. The chip needs to be reset. So there's three up top or four up top, three on the bottom. And then this, you can see that how that is. So there's a light up here. You want to get this light to turn green. Let me turn the light off. We'll get that light to turn green. See, that's green. That, that one's reset. Let's see if I can get the lighting on showing red. See how it's red? It's not right. Do it again. Green. Now it's on green. That one's reset. And I say reset. Sometimes you got to do this again. Sometimes you got to take the cartridge out again. And sometimes you got to put it back in. Green. Set. Ready to go. Next one. Red, green, now set to green. There you go. So that's the resetter. Now it's time to go back in the machine and see what happens. Let's see if I can get my phone back out. All right, grab my phone here. We're gonna put this back in here again. We gotta do another voiceover here. So yeah, you just set the backside in, uh, go straight down there, hit it till it snaps, snaps right in. And then we'll get the, all the other three to go in there. Um, and then uh, we'll close the lid here. Uh, yep, so yeah, just make sure you put them in the right slots. They snap right in. They are resetted. Uh, so when it comes in the machine, it will show that they are full. And I look at that, it'll show you. Now it's going to run the process. This typically takes a long time. Uh, and I'll show you that it went really quick. You'll see that there's yellow marks on there. That's okay. Uh, that just means that's not genuine ink, and that's okay. Uh, so you just hit OK up top there, 
And then it'll just say you want to proceed. Just say proceed. And I want to keep continue using the lead. Yes. And then it said OK. Good to go. Now we'll run through a process here. This typically takes uh, a little bit of time to get going. But other than that, we'll just let that run and uh, hope this uh, helped a little bit here. So there we go. Move these on. So Tim, T-Town T-shirts. Hope that video helped. Somebody that's on my channel, as I said, is going to run through a process, be all ready to go. Uh, honestly speaking, sublimation ink and paper. It's the same paper I used to uh, for my 7720. As you can see, I do have the F570 back here. Um, I haven't got the inks to work with it. I haven't got the paper to work with this paper, with this machine yet uh, for setting purposes, but I do have that big one uh, for big jobs. I think I might start selling transfers or start selling transfers or just using that for like tumblers and stuff where I can press that stuff at a higher temperature. I don't want to, but if I do, it is. Uh, so hope this video helped. Hope the audio was good. Um, anything else? Nope. Links will be in the description. Hit the thumbs up button, subscribe, and uh, this is going to be a long month. This is, uh, today is the 7th, and I've been on track for my videos. So, Tim, T-Town, T-shirts. We'll follow people down here. Like, subscribe, all the good stuff. I'll put a link for uh, paper and all that stuff down there for her, too. So, until next time, this is Tim. Peace.